Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a right triangle in which the length of its three sides are n square, n cubed and n to the power of 4 respectively and here in this problem we find the value of n. So if we suppose this is the any other uh, any second angle of this right triangle and you know that the longest side of the right triangle is called the hypotenuse and the uh, side which join these two angles is called its base and the third side is called the perpendicular of this right triangle and we all uh, already know one thing about the right triangle is that in right triangle uh, the Pythagoras theorem is also hold so uh, the Pythagoras theorem uh, is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So this is called the hypot Pythagoras theorem. So uh, now uh, we substitute these three values in this formula and we get its output in this form so we have our hypotenuse is n to the power of 4 and its whole square equals to our base is n square and its whole square plus perpendicular is n cubed and its whole squared so now we simplify the terms and here we multiply these two exponents and we get n to the power of 8 equals to n to the power of 4 plus n to the power of 6. So here we need little bit simplifications and uh, here we first move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes n to the power of 8 minus n to the power of 6 minus n to the power of 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we uh, take common n to the power of 4 uh, on these three terms and the remaining terms are n to the power of 4 minus n to the power of 2 minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step we convert uh, or we divide this in two cases. So our first case is we take n to the power of 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we take n to the power of 4 minus n squared minus 1 equals to 0 and now in the next step we first focus on the case number 1 and in this case we have n to the power of 4 equals to 0 uh, so uh, here you easily get n equals to 0 and when we take the square and cube on this n so it will becomes n cubed equals to 0 and n squared equals to 0. So it, it means that if our n is 0 then over all three sides of the triangle is also becomes 0. So if all the sides become 0 so uh, here uh, there is no exist n right triangle so we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only and in this case we find the value of n so now uh, here first we rewrite this equation as n squared and its whole squared minus n squared minus 1 equals to 0 and now we convert this equation into the standard form of quadratic equation so here uh, we will just take x equals to n squared so when we take x equals to n square in this equation, so this equation will becomes x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0. So uh, now uh, this will becomes in standard form of quadratic equation and we know that we uh, use quadratic formula in quadratic equation. So now first we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 and our quadratic formula will be looks like in this form x equals to minus b plus minus square root of 
b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now we put these three values these three values in this quadratic formula and we get here our x equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so our b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and this whole divided by 2 times of a and over a is 1. So now in the next step, uh, we uh, simplify the terms and here you see that this is minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 1 square is plus 1 and minus times of minus is plus 4 divided by 2. So here we get our x equals to 1 plus minus square root of 5 and this whole divided by 2. So now we convert this equation in two cases. So uh, first we write the positive value of x. It is x equals to 1 plus uh, square root of 5 over 2. And now we write the negative value. It is x equals to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So here we back substitute the value of x and the value of x is equals to n square so we put this value in both of cases and we get n square equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and n square equals to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So now in the next step we uh, uh, we focus on the second case and in the second case you see here we have n square is equals to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 but uh, here uh, you see you know that the value of this expression is negative so it means that this value is less than 0 so if this less than 0 it means that our n square is less than 0 and n square less than 0 means that the uh, side length uh, of uh, base is negative but we know that n square is our base so in the right triangle or in any triangle uh, we know that uh, any side cannot have negative length so if this negative length to so that we rejected this case because it is not possible and triangle has a negative length because uh, the length is always positive uh, so now uh, we rejected this case and we proceed here this case only and in this case we need to take the square root on both of the sides in order to find the value of n so we get here so here we again and neglect the negative value or we just choose the positive value of square root uh, so it will become 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here you use the calculator and we approximately get the value of n is 1.272 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos